Um, actually, two idiots are reading the files over the intercom. Uh, you can stop them if you want, but that's up to you. Hello. Welcome back, my friends. It's been a while, hasn't it? Breathers on your ear. You <laughs> Welcome back. Asshole. Hmm? It's Tanhoney. It's me. Uh, you may recognize him if you're a patron, subscriber to the Eighth Roll Space, and you read the chapter, and then you remember uh, why he needed to leave. <laughs> because we almost found him. <laughs> very, a very strong feel. Look at him. Let's look, look at him laugh. <laughs> he doesn't even give a slag. <laughs> I was born Anyways, an arrogant, uh, we, baby. <laughs> Uh, as you all know, uh, the stream has been delayed. It's going to be on the 25th. By the time this episode drops, is the same. It'll be the day after is when the stream is. Uh, but today, we're not doing SCP stuff. No, no, no. Tan has something else in mind if you'd like to run us through it. Uh, yes. I, I was thinking this podcast. <laughs> we've been very First time for everything, right? in the past. <laughs> We have perhaps mm -hmm. ethically we? been lacking. Name one thing I've ethically lacked in. Well, not you, but, you know, to make this podcast work, sometimes behind the scenes I have to do unseemly things. <laughs> I don't like that. What are you doing? We, we test episodes on human subjects to see if they're good. <laughs> We, we make them listen, they go, stop, yeah. please, I can't. The audio quality is so it's bad. Like, they, they said if I came in here, my sentence would be reduced. Oh, it'll be reduced, all right. Begin the, <laughs> the scientists, like, begin the recording. <laughs> they fucking start zapping It's like the Russian like, sleep this? experiment by the end. <laughs> anyway, what they you were saying ethical implications. What they experienced after listening to 24 hours of discovering SCP. He whispered in the scientist's ear, and oh the scientist God. killed himself. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> they taught a monkey to listen to discovering SCP, and he hanged himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, they taught. Could you imagine? I would not want to meet a human being that. Sh I would not want to talk to a human being that was forcibly made to listen to our podcast for twenty four hours straight in like, it's like a room. We, it's like you find like an old scientist like in in exile in another country. Like, yeah, it's it does that thing in the like, movies where it pops up a little white text where it is. It's like we taught a monkey to listen to Discover SCV and it took in the lessons. What was its name? Satan. <laughs> it's the prequel. Yeah. Somehow we've time traveled the podcast. <laughs> it's like the lessons you have oh, taught man. me, Tadhani and Darnell. I'll put them to use. What do you think? What do you think Satan's up to these days? I presume he's dead. <laughs> do you think his progeny live on? He was born an arrogant monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish we could get an art of that with, like, the MHA. He was born an arrogant monkey. <laughs> he's the awful one of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you, you were going to introduce the concept of the episode. I love the idea of, like... It's like, oh, <laughs> Satan, prime so Satan, <laughs> when he fought in the combat <laughs> Champions <laughs> War. <laughs> it is prime. What if you what if you went to the Hall of Heroes to summon for your fate battle and you got <laughs> Satan? Avenger <laughs> Japan class. <G> War. <laughs> Avenger? Who was he avenging? He wasn't <laughs> wrong, a, he was a villain. <laughs> was he defeated in the combat Champions War? These <laughs> humans think like they can cut my forest down. <laughs> Allow me. Oh my god! Could you imagine if Satan appeared? Do you know the Rise of the Planet of the Apes movies? I think there was one that came out recently, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Could you imagine if they introduced Satan? <laughs> it's like we found this monk, ancient monkey frozen. He's like an ancient evil. It's like monkey <laughs> villagers like are having nightmares of him, like near where he's buried. Like you must they, they assume, and they assume he's dead, and then his. They assume he's dead, and then his people flicks in the ice, and they go, oh, "Thaw him out quick!" <laughs> God, we... <laughs> uh, but uh, the chief, it is forbidden. <laughs> I won't leave any monkey behind. The most devilish grin. It's like, it to it's like on looking like you're right. I shouldn't open him. It's like you can hear like whispers in his head. Like, <laughs> we must release him. <laughs> How delicious blood tastes from the skull. I can teach you. They burned Release my forest me. down. I did not. I, the, the, the destruction of the trees did not anger me. 
It was the, the requisition of my fleas. <laughs> I, I'm only saying this because I'm, I'm seeing the gif you posted earlier. Can you imagine Satan doing that to one of the monkeys? He's like, I truly love being I Satan. truly am a chimp. The <laughs> <laughs> black flash. <laughs> is, is, is that his personality? He's like, my time. <laughs> Satan chosen by the sparks of black. Like, who is the, um, the, the monkey researcher? <laughs> Uh, Jane Goodall, I thought. Jane Goodall, like, sees Satan, like, destroy a monkey. He's like, what the hell are you? Satan! <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you, Jane Fonta. Not Fonta, Jane Goodall. You don't need to shout! <laughs> Finally, the zookeeper with the train gun comes up and he's like, I am you. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, like, walking after him in the jungle. He's like, uh, yeah. Uh, who, who, was, who was the evil guy in Tarzan again? I don't know. I know who you mean. Clayton. <laughs> I only remember his name because of fucking Kingdom Hearts. Not Clayton. <laughs> Not Clayton. Clayton versus Satan? Oh my god, what a battle. They Can you imagine? Up. They would team up. Yeah. Maybe you're not so bad for a monkey. Watch your words, human. I'll crush that skull of yours. It's like when Mahito's like, don't get cocky. You're just a human. <laughs> 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 We're using you for time being. Jesus Lord. We need to at some point. Anyway, what was I even, what was the, I began to explain You were trying what we're to say the concept <laughs> yeah. of the episode. We're gonna, so we're going to be become judges oh. to fix our own ruined hearts. We're going to go <laughs> into the, the, the coal mines of Reddit. <clears throat> Am I the asshole? And we're going to just. Yeah, we're gonna are find, we sorting by new or? We're not going to find out if people are the asshole or not. We're going to decide whether they are. So I've got I've got it on hot right now. Are we doing new? Are we doing controversial? Hot? Um, I'm looking at top of the year. Top of the year? Yeah. Well, these have already been solved, I'm sure. Yeah, well, they've not been solved by me, so... We're <laughs> reopening these cold cases. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Do you, are you seeing the same top one I am uh, I've, the, on the plane? That didn't sound, like, too too spicy to me, but I did go down a little bit further. But I thought, uh-huh. So I see what... Am I the asshole for punishing my son for his preferences. This, oh, this, here we go. This has intrigued me. <laughs> Let's read this. Hopefully this isn't awkward and creepy. All right. oh, the, oh, this is a doozy. You ready? Uh, absolutely. <clears throat> oh, wait, hold on. This one has racism in it, I think. Oh, <laughs> features racism. <laughs> Are we still going to push forward? We can, but I mean... Well, I we're not endorsing any of this. Um, no, I know, but things that could be clipped of you oh. saying... <laughs> Of me saying it, <laughs> me specifically. <laughs> yeah, you'll be reading these. I'm not reading this Okay. One. Okay, well, I'll, mm, let's find a different one. <laughs> we are so cowardly. <laughs> um, mm, i got to say, am I the asshole filtered which we're looking at? It seems very cowardly. I'm going into the real cold mines. No, but... I'm going in. Right. I love fake stuff. It's all uh, fake anyway. That's, that's the secondary like decision. Are they an asshole and are they real? Okay, am I the asshole for laughing when my son came home from meeting his girlfriend's parents because he chose to behave like he does at home? Sure. Shall we read this one? Alright, <clears throat> let's do this. My son hmm. burps a lot while eating. I have tried telling him multiple times that it is rude. I've told him to slow down so he doesn't swallow air with his food. Is this fucking Dr. Seuss? I've told him <laughs> that it is disgusting. My wife will instantly jump in to defend him. Why are you reading it with the like cadence of a JoJo character doing a monologue? <laughs> she will say that's just the way he is, and that it's not his fault. But fate <laughs> determines who's fault. No, he doesn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, he can control himself when I remind him. He just chooses not to. He just went on a date with his girlfriend last night, and she taught him a new asshole. It was the first time meeting her parents since I lived in the city. They went out to a fancy restaurant and he burped all the way through supper. <laughs> he came, well, I guess I'm the asshole. I'm laughing at it too. He came home almost <laughs> in tears from her cheering him out for behaving like a jackass in front of her family. I heard him telling my wife about it. And I laughed. She asked him what was so she asked what was so funny. And I reminded them both that I had tried dozens, if not hundreds of times, to teach him table manners. And he rejected them and she protected him. I said that now he is a grown man and he had to learn the hard way. <laughs> they both think she overreacted and that I'm TA for being amused by his experience. 
So this is like the most obvious one of all time, right? Yeah, not the asshole. Yeah, like what? <laughs> like I, I'll say this: I am a person who eats, who used to eat. I've been better about it, really fast, and burps a lot. I think I've even there's additional a information. A couple of I've times. gone down into the comments about this on this twenty two. <laughs> uh, that's even worse. <laughs> Like, you've, you've probably heard me burp once or twice on podcasts. I know it's a gross thing. When I'm out with people, I'm conscious about it. But when it's just um, me, you don't care what I think. Yeah, because you don't matter. You're like, you don't even technically, technically classify as human. Donnell, so look at the like, call. Okay. You're in a Discord call by yourself. <laughs> I'm just talking. You're a figment of my imagination. <laughs> and you're, me talk- <laughs> it's the meme of the dude talking to the wall. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like all for one. I'm taking over your body. <laughs> <laughs> he was an arrogant podcaster. <laughs> He's like, this is power, Donnell. <laughs> we can take an it. arrogant podcaster. I think the most arrogant podcast you can have is like a podcast that's just you, right? Yeah. Like not if you're like a reading. Like if you're that's reading the honored book, one you, of podcasts, or you're like you're like I read creepy pastas, whatever. But if you like have a podcast where you like talk about the world or whatever, and it's just you, you're floating on oh your back. God. Like I'm sorry, Rogan. I'm not even angry at you right now. <laughs> 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 even. <laughs> Why did that get me? <laughs> Who would be angry at him? Well, aside from a lot of people, but in this scenario, you've been constructed. <laughs> it was a battle. <laughs> He's, this is, does this imply Joe Rogan is doji in this scenario? Well, I'm, I'm sc- yeah, I'm scrolling. No, it implies that um, Joe Rogan is the, the girl. <laughs> I'm scrolling. <laughs> I'm looking for your the asshole because I want to see the contrarian comment. Um, go search by most controversial. Yeah, I want, I, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a sicko. I like seeing the, the devil's advocates where it's like... Oh, here, is, someone said, not the asshole in the fact that you laughed. You're the asshole in the fact your son is 22 and doesn't know how to act. Yeah. Your wife is a problem, but it's your job as a dad to teach your son. You let her prevent you from doing your job. Man, all right, so that was a boring one. Let's pick an interesting one. Yeah, <laughs> let's look for a, a spicy one. Um, Am I the let's... asshole for telling my son that village you wanted doesn't exist since you burnt it to the ground? What? Okay, here we go. Oh, now we're talking. I love medieval. Am I the asshole? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to raid the neighboring village. Now you have nothing to rule. Okay. Am I the asshole for telling my son that village you wanted doesn't exist since you burnt it to the ground? What? This is a bit complicated. I am a stepmom to five wonderful kids. I became their stepmom when the oldest was nine. I adopted all of them but one, and that is Nick. He never wanted me to be his mom, which is fine. The moment he turned 18, he made it very clear he doesn't care about me at all. I wasn't invited to his wedding, any holidays, and so on if he was hosting. My last straw was that he told me when he told me that he will come to Christmas that I was hosting if I left. So we have very low contact. This sounds like adversarial yeah. more than low contact. This sounds like he doesn't like yeah. you. This is an antagonist. Yeah. Along with that, he has blown up every sibling relationship. He has two girls now, and he called me up. This was a surprise, and we started talking. After a while, he started complaining... After I while, sorry. He started complaining about not getting help at all to raise his kids. He asked me to watch them on Sunday and step up as a grandparent. I told him the reason the village doesn't exist to raise his, raise his kids is due to him burning that village down. Is this a common like saying? I know, I know, like, it takes a village to raise a child. Uh, it takes a village to raise a child. I, I don't know people just to, to just like, like refer to this as a like, village. So what you need to understand about "Am I the asshole?" Tan is most of this stuff isn't real. This is just people's writing prompts. Mm. This is a writer trying to like make a thing stick. Image-wise, and it's not working. Interesting. Um, I'm so, I'm so sorry. They're to saying tell you this. the village, like this, is a common like way to refer to it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tane. You're reading what? Ad. He called me a jerk and hung up. My husband is iffy on the situation, but told me it's my call since I would be the one to watch your kids most of the time since he travels often for work. So I'm posting here on Reddit. This is probably. Not, definitely not the asshole, but like these are all so fucking boring and obvious. We should we shouldn't be s- sorting by top of all time. We need to do like where's controversial or like rising maybe or hot. We need something good, yeah. Tan. Yeah, controversial. Give me con. No, there's no ha- rising then. We can do back a go cat ski with fucking rising. Uh, am I the asshole for telling my coworker I didn't enjoy my pregnancy? I don't know if we're allowed to have an opinion on that. Yeah, I don't know about that. 
Oh, here we go. Am I the asshole for giving an honest answer after my friend's breakup? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's go. <laughs> Rubbing my hands together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you seen this one? <clears throat> Hi. My friend has a boyfriend, which most of which most of our other friends is like, which is an object. They don't tell her that, <laughs> but they do avoid hanging out with them. Personally, I have no real issue with him. Sure, I wouldn't have chosen him as a friend myself, but I have given him some of my time and appreciate his good qualities. Okay. This means... Why don't they like him? <laughs> this means I've been her go-to for hanging out with her and her boyfriend. They even set me up on a double date with one of his friends. This was sort of sprung on me. The guy was definitely not my type, and I wasn't at all interested. But hey, people make mistakes. One thing I noticed when hanging out with them was that they were often fighting, and she often complained about him to me, so even the girlfriend doesn't like him. <laughs> so it didn't come as a shock when I found out they broke up. Everyone was saying how sorry they were about it. When she asked me, I said that I understood it was difficult, but that I also thought it was a good thing, seeing how much they fought, and how she'd been complaining about him so much. That was two weeks ago. She hasn't talked to me since, and I just found out they got back together. <laughs> like, one week ago. I feel like I might have missed some social cue or something. Was it wrong of me to speak what was honestly on my mind? I did not say while they were together, since I didn't want to ruin anything that might make her happy. Once they broke up, I thought it's safe to speak my mind. Am I the asshole? Uh, no, my I friends think... the same. That's what I was going to say. Anytime I hear someone's fighting in the relationship and they get back with them after breaking up, I'm like, this person's lost. They've already lost the battle, the psychological <laughs> battle. <laughs> Their will is gone. Oh. oh. <laughs> I had a friend in a situation like this, and I'm telling you, we would always lay it on thick because he would always do this to himself over and over and every time he'd be like i know you're right i know you're right and every time he'd get back with her and then he'd not want to hear it and then the exact same thing would happen this happened for years uh and until we finally fucking like banded together and got him to like stick with it and he's been so much happier since like people i don't know how it happens so i don't want to judge but people fall into like relationships like this and it's just like a fucking trap dude it's awful it's, it's the worst yeah. Like, I think what it is is it's a fear of being alone more than, like, a love for the other person. Yeah. <sighs> but, yeah, definitely I would say not the asshole. Maybe a little autistic, but not the asshole. <laughs> You're the <laughs> autistic. Uh, yeah, I would agree with you there. Not the asshole. Your friend is is, is maniac. All right. Uh, ooh, here's, here's one that could be funny. I found... Am I the asshole for... Oh, go ahead. I found one. Am I the asshole for shaming my sister for dropping out of the Boston Marathon? This is very specific. Ooh, okay. Zero upvotes, 17 comments. Let's yeah, I've been it. looking at these zero upvotes ones. Those are spicy. <laughs> Let's lock in. <clears throat> my younger sister, 25F, weird name, but okay, is a college student and a runner. She <laughs> takes part every year in the Boston Marathon. This year, my wife, 34F, and I, 36M, Flew into Boston to be part of the crowd to watch my sister run the race. We arrived in Boston a few days before the marathon. And we had a really fun time with my sister as she showed us around the city. Would you go to vacation in Boston? Uh, I literally... Uh, oh, no, never mind. It's Chicago. I'm a fucking moron. I was going to say I'm literally about to, but I'm uh, wrong city. Okay. I don't know. What's even in Boston? The marathon? Like, the, like <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Is that the only event? <laughs> well, I don't, the only thing I've fucking heard about Boston, apart from the accent, the funny accent. Yeah, like Boston's known for the accent. It's like a setting in a lot of things, but I can't think of anything that's explicit. I'm sure if we have like a Boston fan, they'd be like, oh, you fucking asshole, you forgot about uh, Mario's or whatever the fuck. I don't know what's in Boston. I don't know of anything famous. For all I know, Boston's just a city to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. And yeah, she showed us from city. A few nights before the race, my sister suffered a sleep paralysis episode. It was traumatic Ooh. enough that she <laughs> it was traumatic enough that she came to me and my wife in the middle of the night, crying and shaking up. She was acting as if my wife and I were her parents. Okay. Um, da, da, da. And shortly before the marathon, my sister approached us once again and told us that the sleep paralysis episode was so traumatic that she couldn't bring herself to run a full marathon with that kind of trauma in her head. I was perplexed, and I asked her what her sleep paralysis had to do with running or her physical strength, but she insisted that this year she just couldn't do it. My sister has a scholarship, so I made her feel guilty enough that she wanted to give us some money to compensate for the plane trip to Boston. Jesus. 
you're the asshole. My wife and I couldn't have flown all the way over there if we knew that Sis was going to end up not running in the race. My wife couldn't stop herself from doting on my sister, though, and she sharply refused the money. And she even made me buy my sister some cake to apologise for guilt for her. Am I the asshole? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you're the asshole. So here's... Let's, let's break this down. I... It's a very traumatic incident. So right off the bat, I think you... He should have definitely been more comforting. I don't think saying, hey, are you sure you want to quit this thing you've been training for? He's like, is bad. what about the Shaming money? Shaming her into paying for your plane tickets is insane. Especially because she's a college student and you have like a real person job. That's nuts. <laughs> Give me my plane ticket money back. Who does that? Can, would that work if I did that to you, Tan? If I come up to England, can I shame you for my plane ticket Absolutely money? Absolutely fucking not. I'll demand more money from you. <laughs> I'd be like, I came all this way up. <laughs> Give me money. Like, Absolutely. The money is right over there. I put it on a table in the corner. And, and then a monkey's hiding in the shadows. <laughs> You're like, oh, by the way, I promised that guy the money too. And Satan <laughs> steps out. It's like, it's like, I missed you in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Boston. <laughs> We were gonna meet up. Run. And, but you were so, you, you you were in such a hurry to get out of there. <laughs> just just so you know, you're very cute when you're sleeping. <laughs> yeah, so, Satan, <laughs> I'm, I'm good for it. I swear. <laughs> Why is he a loner? <laughs> <laughs> this is my strongest repo man, Satan. Satan, when he destroys he- all the other monkeys, he like levels up and turns into a human. <laughs> Oh my god, like those shitty Isa guy. <laughs> no, he's like evolution, but in just him. <laughs> my body, it's morphing, I'm... Oh, I, I won't I like pass my dreams form. on to the next generation. They belong to me alone. <laughs> he's like, why is he the Yujiro of monkeys? <laughs> Alright, so that was an easy one. When are we going to get a real challenge? He was a species of one. <laughs> the paradise okay. lost of his body. Uh, oh. oh, um, hold on. Ugh, some of these are tense. Am I the asshole for outing my friend that her baby voice isn't her normal voice? <laughs> Give me a link. What the fuck? Hold on. Sending it your way now. There we go. Now we're back in business. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, God. You got this. No, no, no. You already started doing it. (laughs) He has the greed of a beast. (laughs) Samson is the greed of a beast. I have a friend that I'm really close to that has social anxiety, so she hasn't been out with my friends before. She finally decided to come with us, which was exciting, but she spoke completely differently. Oh, no. I don't know how to explain it, but she was talking in a baby voice or many an anime voice. She just sounded not like herself at all. (laughs) That was bad. That was bad. (laughs) When she went to the bathroom, my friends immediately asked me why she sounds like that. One of my friends said she sounds so young. What the fuck? I imagine like Pi Another (laughs) another said, no one sounds like that. She's clearly faking it for some reason. I admitted that, yes, she was faking it, which was obvious, but I wasn't sure why she was talking like that. There were guys there that I'm friends with. Maybe she has a crush or just nervous. No idea. But after the hangout, I asked her why she was talking like that, and she played dumb. She said, I was talking differently? Sometimes I act different around different people. I said it wasn't just that. She sounded young, way younger than she is. She said it was just something she was trying out, and that she <laughs> I said, of course they noticed. I told them that wasn't your real voice. She got upset at this and said I shouldn't have told them that. I told her, girl, everyone knows you're faking the voice. (laughs) My saying it doesn't do anything they all know, but she's mad at me. I'm so sorry that these people exist. I I assume this is fake, but if it's not, like, why would anyone do that? I don't know. This you could write a post like this about me, but instead of a baby voice, I'd be doing the skipper voice. People would be like, "Why is he talking like that?" Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> you have like that really body got, shakes over. That really got me. <laughs> Why? It was cringe. It was cringe. Oh my god! This, he's not even able to make a funny. He's dead. They killed him. <laughs> half of my body and half my organs were destroyed. 
I definitely want to say not the asshole because, like, what do you even say to that? Well, it's like well, there's no good. Like now you've involved me in your weird <laughs> routine. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Am I the asshole for refusing to pay my son's mom to watch him? Give me a link. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this one sounds feisty. Here you go, buddy. <clears throat> Am I the asshole for refusing to pay my son's mom to watch him? I separated from my seven-year-old sons, Sean, Mom, Amber. We have 50-50. Our custom I have the legs. Several- she has the top off. <laughs> <laughs> our child is Gojo. <laughs> <laughs> our custody agreement have several provisions about who pays for what. I am on the hook for childcare. We didn't have a sitter for the last few years, but he said he was moving back home in January, would obviously not be available after that. Amber and I both have agreed on a lot of things, including a sitter, so neither she nor I can unilaterally hire someone to watch him. We were discussing the matter and she found someone to replace our sitter, her boyfriend Jesse. He moved That's not Amber a neutral party though, I don't know why that's a good idea. Yeah, it's that a tips the balance of power. <laughs> it's like it's like she's, she's it's straight like up the like fucking like Shogun, it's the like babysitter. The regent yeah. must, must be the side who cares for the ass. She Crusader King killed their fucking babysitter to slide her boyfriend in <laughs> to gain influence with the child over the air. <laughs> He moved in with Amber, and they've been together for a couple of years. She said he works from home and would love to spend time with Sean. I said, is he expecting to be paid? She said, of course, in the same amount as our current sitter, 28 an hour. I said, absolutely not. I don't know him well enough, and I suspect this is more about me paying your boyfriend to watch our kid than finding a proper sitter. I don't know how he drives. I don't feel comfortable with him giving him a bath. I don't know how reliable he is. I don't even know if he wants to do it. There are other things about him that I'm not comfortable with, and I pay our sitter good money because he's worth it and has a good relationship with our son. Plus, he and I have known each other for like 30 years. We met in middle school and would never start a sitter off at 28 an hour. Also, I'm not cool with anyone getting paid to watch my kid while on the clock for another job. Mm. The whole idea pissed me off. We got into an argument about it. She insisted that they weren't trying to double dip on me. They both think I'm rich and they are having money issues. We've been fighting over it, so I said that I'll take our over babysitting stuff. I do work from home and we'll make it work. She said she didn't want me in her house and then accused me for trying to save money. I said, no, this is about you trying to make money off watching our kid. I told her I'm not discussing this until November because it got heated and we have a sitter for another four months. Just yesterday, she said she asked if I'd be open to compromise of her being the sitter on days or times when I have Sean but need a sitter. I said, are you expecting me to pay you? She said, yes. I told her no. And she has to drop this ambition of getting paid to watch her own kid. She said she could take unpaid time off work, and that's why she was suggesting it. What the, <laughs> the fuck? The eager for that bag. <laughs> How about another 30 an hour? Please. I don't know. This one, I don't have fucking kids. I think not the asshole, but, like, what do I know? I, I think not the asshole as well. <laughs> Tanhoney, by the way, uh, can I sit your children? You can trust me for 30 an hour. Um, no, sorry. Do you even have kids? Yeah, I do. Uh, name one. Milo. Who? Milo. Myler? Milo. Milo. Okay, tell me about Milo. He's my son. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> is Milo your dog? No. Who's your dog? Rocky. Rocky. Okay. I told you about Milo. Seriously. <laughs> I just suddenly no get. You, I just suddenly reveal. I've got like a There is, is no child. way you actually have progeny. I would not believe it. It's it's my toes. Not for even a moment. <laughs> my toes. Milotosis. <laughs> yeah. He's my shadow self. <laughs> All right, he's let's like, find another one. He's, he's like Malakath. I gotta say, not sure if the Am I the Asshole episode is the winner, but I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. That's the only thing I give a shit about. So I will weird. eat when I'm hungry. <laughs> Destroy anything in my way. Am I the asshole for telling my wife her reaction to a waitress not taking a picture was... What's OTT? Over the top? Yeah. All right, let's do it. You ready? Sure. I, 37M, met my sister in commonly visited city a few weekends back. How old is sister? Wife, 37... I don't know. <laughs> Ungradable. <laughs> Why is everyone else? Is... <laughs> She's ageless. <laughs> my wife, 37F, came with me and my two kids, 8F and 8... 6M. This is Why does that matter? matter? Why, does... Why do we even need to know about the kids? Um, I don't know. Who cares? 
The restaurant was nice, and she asked the waitress to take all of us a picture, and she said that's not part of the job and walked away. I offered to take the picture instead, but she wanted all of us to be in it, so whatever. Oh my god, this guy sucks. When the bill came, she snatched that shit and made sure to put zero tip over the picture. I would have tipped her cash, but my wife would told the waitress to give it back, and I didn't want to embarrass her like that. Anyways, when we were driving back to our hotel... I told her that I thought tipping zero was a bit mean. I mean, me personally, I would have just taken the picture. But I guess in the job description, nowhere did it say take pictures for customers. I also said her reaction was a bit over the top. She said that if she didn't want to do stuff like that, working at a tourist city wasn't for her. Before I could say something back, she <laughs> put in her AirPods. <laughs> Giga shots. <laughs> 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 My the ass. Put in her AirPods. This guy sucks. Everybody in his family hates him. He doesn't even want to be in the picture. <laughs> Um, Why is it specified that the brand? <laughs> I almost I can't believe this is real because it's too funny. I feel like this was constructed. She put in her headphones. <laughs> just imagine she's <laughs> sitting on the bed. Just puts them in. It's like stocks looking at him. Uh. <laughs> wow. Um, but I- I'm curious what the what red because this is asshole poo mode. Is the the flirt? I don't know what that means. I th- I assume it means they're heavily voted the asshole. I don't know because this one is like, I this guy definitely sucks. I think he is an asshole. But is he the asshole? But I don't know. In this tipping scenario? zero, tipping zero to a waiter. But if the waitress really said some shit like that, I don't. It's like yeah, why why pay them more then? Yeah, I suppose. It's already kind of yeah. All right, yeah, I, I can. I think I can vote you the asshole on this for sure. The only part that gets me is the not tipping, but, like, this guy definitively sucks who wrote this. I don't know. Probably, yeah. What's your final opinion? Um, I think you're the asshole. Thanks. (sighs) Not the guy in the storm, it's about you. Yeah, I know, that's why I said thanks. (laughs) What did you have to say for yourself? I said thanks. No, I mean like. Can you hear me? Defend yourself. Hello. Um, I don't need to. I accept what. You don't I need to. <laughs> okay, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what am I accused of? You're in a kangaroo court right now, Kafka. <laughs> How do you defend yourself? How do you plead? <laughs> well, hold on. What do I stand accused of? What did I do that was asshole? <laughs> he pleads guilty. My God, that's not what I said. <laughs> Bailiff, break his fingers. <laughs> if you, if, if you speak about permission again, you'll be held in contempt of court. What the fuck? Do you not swear in court? Can you not swear in court? I think you can. Bailiff, his tongue. No. <laughs> Bailiff, bring out the Judge, chair. Judge Joffrey, like, Bailiff, bring me his head. Go ahead, have a drink. Have another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, you guys. Uh, Joffrey's like you, right. Chiro, because if he starts being really nice, you know, some horrifying Joffrey is not like you. Alright. Whenever Yujiro is like, uh, my friend, shake my hand, you know, he's like, get tear your fucking arm off for no reason. <laughs> Joffrey is in no other ways like you. <laughs> he is, he's so strong. <laughs> when it cuts to him, back. like, oh, the Iron Throne doing the Yujiro pose with legs apart. <laughs> Lord have <It's> mercy. Like, <laughs> Joffrey, King of the Iron Throne. <laughs> Uh, okay, here's one, maybe. Uh, he turns his shirt off, he's got a lion tattooed on his back. Um, am I the asshole for refusing to borrow money from my husband anymore? Um, let's have a look. <laughs> Why not? Uh, you have to read this one. <clears throat> my, my, me, 36F, and my husband, 37M, went to the beach last weekend and my wallet disappeared. I don't know if it was stolen or if I dropped it, but either way, it disappeared with all my credit cards, ID, etc. We live in Japan, so I still had somebody charged to my phone, which I used throughout the week to go get my residency card replaced. I have to take a train and bus, which costs money, and I've been living on 100 yen cup noodles. Jesus. When I went to get my number card replaced, a type of social security card here in Japan, I like that it has, like, translator's notes. 
<laughs> I was told it costs money, so I wanted to go later when I got my cash card or a credit card back. I could do so on my own money. When I told my husband this, he insisted I do it immediately and said he would borrow me the money to do so. I told him I could just wait and do it later when I had access to my money again. But he came to meet me and borrowed me 10,000 yen that he reviewed from a nearby ATM. It's like Kaiju, there's like an absurd interest rate. <laughs> it's like if you, go on the, if you go on the ship, the Espoir, <laughs> the ship of hope. <laughs> I took the money, thanked him, and assured him I would return it as soon as possible. Fast forward and my cash card arrived and two of my credit cards. We went out for lunch today and he went to pay, so I asked him how much I owed him for my half. He tells me not to worry, because he is tallying it up in the entry space on our line chats. He puts the money in there like 10,600 plus 600 without <laughs> sending it to keep a tally. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Insane. He, he's insane. I don't know if he's an asshole, but he's insane. No, keep going, it gets worse. I don't mind that he's keeping the tally, but when I ask about 250, he says it's for the ATM charge for the 10,000 yen he borrowed me. I don't mind paying that, and I understand that it's expensive, but I was very surprised he was counting that closely and told him. I would never think of charging someone for the ATM fee to borrow money I insisted they borrow. By the way, I have never borrowed money from him before, and this is after years of me paying for... Oh, there comes out the resentment. <laughs> in years of me paying for things for the both of us, and his half of meals, and him saying he'll pay me back later, and ultimately buying me a beer or something here and there, and saying, just take 300 yen off of what I owe you. <laughs> Why are we tracking this so closely on both sides? Yeah, don't you, don't you have, like... Yeah, I feel like when you're married, your money's like one thing, yeah. right? He does acknowledge this debt, and he pays it back in this way, though. I have n- Well, if he already owes you money, surely now you don't owe him money. Surely it balances out. I have never considered factoring tax into the things I pay for him or anything. I can't imagine a relationship where I would do something like that. Anyway, when I was surprised, I asked, like, you're actually charging me that? And he got upset, because ATMs are expensive. It's not about you. It's about them. So I said that of course I will pay him, but I think if I ever needed to borrow money again, I wouldn't ask him. He got angry at me and stormed off, leaving me in the street by myself. Am I the asshole here? Insane. This is like the most man child. He's all insane. Time. You both feel a little weird, to be honest. For real. Tip, thanks for many comments and very insightful opinions. Up until my husband, I had never been in a relationship longer than a year, and I had no idea that this dynamic was unusual in a relationship like ours. I suggested the idea of a joint bank account that we put some money into each one for our home and life into, and he seemed very open to the idea. It's not combining our full finances, as seems to be normal from the comment, no, it's just making it even more complicated, but I hope this will be a very good step in the right direction. Thank you for all your very helpful advice. Happy end? I don't think so. Happy I'm end. worried. I'm worried about this person. There's some psycho <laughs> behavior. Could you imagine tracking money that liberally? Mm. By the way, you owe me... Let's see. Actually, I probably owe you money because I think you've paid for all the Podbean subscription years. I think I've paid you like one year, maybe. I, so, how much do I owe you? Um, I don't know. You probably owe me quite a bit. Like, at least a million. <laughs> at least a million? You know, if you factor like short-term like loan interest stuff. rate. Yeah. Oh, services. What services? Services rendered. Friendship. You mean that was friend? Uh, w- wow. <laughs> okay. Service rendered for my friendship. Two million. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. No. You're like you're like the the that movie. You're a tax break for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Okay. I see. Well, you can use your own damn web serial this week. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You know I didn't mean it. <laughs> You know I didn't mean it. Okay. That's all he cares about is you know space. You know I did not mean it. Name one thing you've Am ever I the me? asshole for calling my sister in law crazy for stealing my baby names? Link it? Ooh. Oh wait, we didn't even grade this one. Oh, By the way, not the, not the asshole. asshole. She's in the right. Not the asshole, no. but you've you know very weird. Here we go. <clears throat> go ahead. Uh, yeah. Am I the asshole? I don't know why they made their own little addition to the acronym. Uh, for calling my SRL crazy for stealing my baby names? So I would really like some advice, just to know if I am really overreacting or if this whole situation is aggravating as I found it to be. So I, F42, and my husband, Oliver, what's your name? Why did we get Oliver's name, not yours? M44, got married when we were 26 and 24, and we have four children together. This, or, this better be fucking relevant. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> none of this will ever come up. My husband has a little brother, Mason, and Fane have a Mason. <laughs> Sorry, Mason. You married Jane at <laughs> 34. <laughs> they have three children together, but are expecting a baby. It is like a math. It is like a <laughs> test problem. <laughs> Me and Jane get along pretty well. Well, clearly not, judging from the title. <laughs> her and her no, no, kids... that's the son-in-law. That's the son-in-law. Jane's would be the... Uh... Sis- oh, wait, is it sister-in-law? Sister-in-law, I think. There's no son-in-law oh. being introduced. Oh, no, okay, for continue. <laughs> Me and Jane get along pretty well. Her and her kids, she and her kids, come over to my house a lot while our husbands are at work, so we spend a lot of time together. However, there has been one thing that has always bothered me about Jane. A couple of years ago, when Jane's son was being born, she told me that she wanted to name her son Oliver after my husband, her brother, I assume. If I, I, I think. Here's the problem. Here's the problem, my son. <laughs> he was two years <laughs> old at the time, it was already named Oliver after my husband. I expressed this to her, and she then acted like she understood, but when her son was born, she named him Oliver. So there's like three Olivers in this family that frequently interact. This is like the Targaryens. (laughs) (laughs) So many Aegons. Mason told me and my husband that they would only call their son by his middle name, or by the initials of his first and middle name. Example, OJ. Oh no. Do not, do do not use OJ! (laughs) However... Don't... For the past ten years, Jane and her kids have only called their son by Oliver. Jane also tries to get her son and my husband to be really close, going as far as to bring him over to the house by himself a lot, even when she knows my husband and son are trying to spend quality time together. This has always rubbed me and my husband the wrong way, but for the sake of his family, we chose to just not make it a big deal. This is very weird. This is a very weird dynamic. But flash forward to now. A couple of days ago, Jane and me were talking about baby names for her and Mason's new baby. For context, my daughter Annabelle actually doesn't get called Annabelle, and instead goes by her middle name Lily, and everyone has been calling her Lily since childhood, not Annabelle. Well, when me and Jane were talking about girl baby names, she said she had already set on a name for a girl and said Lily. I asked her the reason why, and she stated it's the only name that she liked for a girl, and she generally didn't like any other name. I said to her that she knows my daughter goes by Lily, and that it's basically her name. She instantly got very defensive and tried to say that Lily was my daughter's actual name, so it didn't matter and that I was being ridiculous. I then said, you're the ridiculous one, and crazy at that. This got Jane really mad and she immediately said she couldn't believe I called her crazy and she rounded up her kids and left. However, I feel if Jane hadn't already done this before, I wouldn't have minded her wanting to name her daughter Lily as much. But twice? It just feels intentional at this point. However, I've been thinking about how I might be over dramatizing this whole situation. I'm hesitant because I don't want to ruin my husband and children's familiar relationship with their cousins and brother this issue. Well, am I the asshole? I would say not the asshole, and I would say watch out, because clearly she wants to kill you and take your place. Jesus, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like she wants to be like This is like some free shit. (laughs) This is weird. This is really weird. Uh, So definitely the, the person posting this is not the asshole. Yeah. Uh, but they may be a corpse at this point. Jesus. I hope they're still okay. Mm, well, this was By the way, uh, I didn't know if you knew this, but I'm actually having a kid myself, and I was thinking of naming him Milo. Oh. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> <Is> it... <laughs> yeah, people in the comments agree with me. I think your sister-in-law wants your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a little freaky it almost gives me a vibe like is she into this lady's husband like what's oh, happening hold on hold on hold on hold on oh thank god husband she's married to the husband's brother she isn't the sister oh thank god <laughs> I thought some weird the... I thought he was even weirder uh... that's so freaky that's weird all right, what's next, Tan Honey, on the docket? Hold on, I'm gonna I'm scrolling for the comments. I want to find you're the asshole. I want to see the contrarian. <laughs> I don't know if that'll exist. That has to exist. Go on, talk controversy. I found one that has the label poo mode activated. Am I the asshole for making my brother wear a tie to a black tie event? Probably not. 
poo mode at it. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> my brother and I attended my co-worker slash friend's wedding last weekend. This is bullshit because I don't know how old anyone is or what gender anyone is. Yeah, so how am I supposed to judge this <laughs> yeah. accurately? Where dress code was black tie. I let him know a couple of weeks in advance and he expressed annoyance, stating, I never wear ties. I hate wearing ties. And I told him that I was very honoured to be invited to this wedding as she's someone I care for and respect. And I would be embarrassed if he broke the dress code. Fast forward to the wedding. He wears the tie to the ceremony and is angry the entire time. Doesn't speak to me and has a terrible look on his face. I cried after the ceremony because I was upset he was acting this way. He said, you care about this wedding, then you do my feelings. <laughs> oh my god. Why are so many people married to like man children? What is happening? We talk- this isn't a marriage. This is just a boyfriend. Okay. We talked it out. I had a good time at the reception. However, I feel like this week he's still sour about it. Oh my god, I had to wear a tie for like a couple of hours. Jesus Christ, get over it. It's been a week today, and I teased him about how the pictures would have turned out better if he had been in dress code. What do you mean? He was in dress code. He wore the tie, right? Yeah. What do you mean? I have no idea. Apparently that was unacceptable, because now he is just as upset as he was at the wedding. I genuinely can't wrap my head around how he can be this upset about a tie. Am I the asshole? Edit, thank you for all your responses. For context, we've been together almost three years. Ah, 30F, 34M. There we go, now this is great. He's 34 years old. And this was an isolated event. He really is a good person. Very kind, generous. Always got us out of his way to make sure I'm happy and taking care of, etc. Which is why I was so taken aback by the whole situation. I wanted to come here to gain some perspective regarding this particular incident. Thank you all for giving me a little peace of mind. I'll say this, right, to play a little tiny bit of devil's advocate. So as you, as you know, as, as I talk about every four seconds, I am autistic. Um, and I sometimes have sensory issues. And ties for me often feel like I'm choking a little bit. So I struggle with them. Um, I've gotten better. And I also clip-ons existing is like a godsend. But I don't think that being made to wear one would ever be a reason to like treat your partner like shit, especially at a wedding, you know, when everyone's trying to have fun, like why ruin the whole event over that? But like, I can also kind of understand how it feels like it can, if it's a sensory thing in any other scenario, I think instantly this guy is hundred percent the villain, but either way, I'd say that she's not the asshole. Uh, I would just say that this is just like a suck situation. I don't know though. This is very weird. Maybe it's like maybe it's like a creature. Tan, when's the last time you wore a tie? Um, last time I wore a tie. Um, that's what I thought. What do you mean? I, I, could, I could wear a tie without issue if like the situation required it. Name the last time you wore a tie. Probably jo- last job interview I did. Ooh, okay. I had one tie I would last wear year. <laughs> that was a that was a clip on, and it was like uh, it clip just on. had manatees on it. You can't tie a tie. Um, I can tie a tie, but I just told you how I have sensory issues. It like feels like I'm being oh, straight. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, like if I, it's not so bad that if Are I had to like... wear one for a limited time, I could get through. But like I, if I usually have to wear one for a long period of time, I just do a clip on. Are you like that fairy tale where, you know, the girl has like a ribbon? It's like, you can't yeah. And if you remove it, my head falls off. Like, you can't take off this ribbon. You can't take off this clip on tie. Please. What was the point of that fairy tale? What was the message of that? Listen to your wife. Because isn't the fairy tale that they like were happy and they lived the whole life, and then when she died, he finally took oh, it off yeah. and then it fell off. Yeah, so like, really what was the point? moral? There's no harm done at that point, really. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It just wouldn't it be fucked like... up if that happened. <laughs> like, I don't understand. I, I, I misremembered it, and she's like, "Don't take it off unless you got sick or something." It's like, <laughs> time to take it off. <laughs> No, no. Well, I'm sure there's multiple versions of it as folk are, but the one I heard was like they met. Yeah, she said that he was like, whatever. They lived a full life. They got married, and then on her deathbed, he takes it off, and her head falls off. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucked up? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucked? <laughs> That's the moral of that story. Oh, lord. All right. Do you think we can squeeze any more out of these, or are we done? Um, I think we might be done here. All right. Let's check for comments, shall we? Let's talk to her and read those comments. Oh, my. You know what the worst part is? What? When we came into this episode, I thought about making an ironic hawk to a joke, and I was like, no. It's, even I even I can't. And then you just jumped in fearlessly. Let's I'm, I'm bold. 
All right, you ready for this? Absolutely, I'm ready for this. All right. Um, oh, hang on, I'm not signed in. Give me one second real quick. By the way, the password is uh, the spirit, the stallion of the Salaran. Noir Dolphin says, can't wait for Ryder Bot. Oh, by the also way, we also have to decide if these commenters are the asshole or not. Ooh, okay. So Noir Dolphin 343 says, can't wait for Ryder Bot. Also, good episode. I suggest you bring back the password. Oh, hey. There you go. Ooh, oh, but instead it. say it at the middle so people can't just skip to the end <laughs> for the algorithm. Um, good suggestion, but uh, correcting Tanhony after he gave the password at the end was a little rude, so yeah. I'm going to have to say you're, you're the, the asshole. asshole. Yeah. Uh, Shythalia says, well, that sucks that you can't read the test logs for the 3D specs. They're actually very interesting. Okay. Fair. Uh, you're the asshole have to go back and read them. I saw should we go back and read them? I didn't think they would be interesting. Uh, Anytime I see series one test logs, my eyes just yeah, raise over. I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, Rexodus says, I read the title as The Woke Dragon, and I thought, what did they read? Still a great episode. Hype for writer uh, You're the asshole. Uh, you the didn't asshole. pay enough attention to the title. Oh, sorry. You're right. You know what? Everybody you should have read it properly. <laughs> no, I don't know. You're the asshole. <laughs> woke the Dragon. <laughs> I forgot that's what that one was called. What happened? Did you, you just keep me threatening angry. me? Yeah. You have genuinely angered me. <laughs> uh, MT2 says, well, 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 what do we have here? An SCP episode. I haven't seen one in like five weeks. Well, enjoyed the video nonetheless. <laughs> really I started reading game. April Space a week ago. I'm now on part five. You shanked Skipper. Bro, what the fuck? Uh, not the asshole reads Aetheral Space. Yeah, not the asshole. Not the asshole. Uh, finally, Zakaim2764 says, Joe Smith really summoned his persona at the end. Excited for writer BotCon. I've been working on a JoJo fic for the past few weeks. And by working on, I mean doodling my OCs while staring at a blank Google Doc. So maybe this will give me the motivation to actually do something. Have you received that? Yes, it's though? pronounced <laughs> Zach Game. Uh, if this is blue light, then yes. Oh. Uh, good comment, but you're the asshole for correcting me on your name yeah, pronunciation after I said your name. Yeah. The only way to mock the right. asshole is read April's face. Yeah, pretty much. Sorry, this game was rigged from the start. So, Darnell, um, you actually interrupted me quite a few times in this episode, and you're mean to our comments just now, so you are also the asshole. Tanhony, you smell like ass. You're the asshole. So everybody sucks here? Everybody sucks here. <laughs> so, can, can we get a poo lockdown on the thread? <laughs> or whatever the fuck it was called. <laughs> can we get the Anomalous, shit tag? Anomalous, can you edit in? Uh, put me on one end, like Darnell, my name on the on the left, and Tanony on the right. And can you put, if we're the asshole or not, under each of our names? Just so the viewers know what you rate us. Thanks. Oh, oh, sorry. But uh, you, there's a little bit of information you're missing. Uh, I'm 25 M. Tanhony, uh, 27 M. 28 M. 28 M. Okay, yeah. Just in case you didn't know that going in. All right. Well, I guess that's fucking it, huh? A shorter one this week. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.